Hello everybody, welcome back to Blues Focus TV for yet another full-time match reaction video and another win, another win for Blues this afternoon. Obviously we managed to beat QPR by a goal to nil prior to the international break and this afternoon uh, we managed to beat Blackburn 1-0 one, one uh, at St Andrews. The fourth time we've played them this season, twice in the cup, obviously once at their place at the start of the season. Um, so fourth time the charm for us, Reda Kedra uh, managing to get the goal to separate the two sides and what a beautifully taken finish it was right for edge of the box, right into the bottom corner of the goal and it was always uh, always going to be nice seeing him shush those away fans um, winding them up a little bit. He seems very happy at Blues um, and I'm glad he's happy at Blues because he's proven to be a fantastic player for us. Hopefully we can keep hold of him. But no, play fantastic this afternoon. Blackburn too, I didn't think were too bad. They were obviously going to be good being fifth in the table. Um, they did create a good a number of opportunities for themselves but I think overall we dealt with dealt with the chances they created very well. I thought John Ruddy had a very good performance today. I think he kept us in it uh, on numerous occasions. And I thought defensively, although they created a lot, um, I think we certainly limited the number of chances that I thought they'd have. I thought they'd just be peppering our goal the entire game. But the back four uh, of Trusty, Roberts, uh, Long and Colin, um, I thought proved to be very, very good again. If if you told me a month or so ago or two months ago, our, our two centre-halves would have been Long and Roberts, I would have been a bit concerned. But um, those two were fantastic this afternoon. They were very good against QPR. Um, and are proving to be a good defensive partnership. But first 20 minutes, we created plenty of opportunities for ourselves. Lukas Djukovic coming close on multiple occasions, um, had a good chance down the right, which was deflected onto the post. Um, he then had a shot, which was nicely saved by the Blackburn goalkeeper right down the throat, but it certainly caused him some problems. Um, so we created a good number of opportunities early on and we continue to throughout the game. As I said, Blackburn didn't go without as well. John Reddy made a good save down to his right early on and then and then same again uh, down to his left not too long later. Um, and then not too long in the second half, uh, Kedra did manage to get his goal. And as I said, beautifully taken. Nice to see him winding up the Blackburn fans. Um, and I thought the way we played for the, for the remaining 30 minutes was really strong and really positive. I thought we sat back at the correct times. I thought John Eustace got it completely correct today tactically in terms of he made substitutions and changes when when it was appropriate to do so he didn't force them um, often we see managers who are who, who, who whose team are winning um, and they'll make changes regardless but Eustace didn't do that we were one nil up he made change the first change around the 70th minute mark and it was an appropriate change it was the right change um, and then he didn't make the remaining few till about the 90th minute and that's when he changed to his back five so I thought Eustace got it tactically correct today. Uh, we've seen a few times this season where he has got it tactically wrong, Watford being the, the latest example of that. Um, but I thought he got it spot on today. Changes happened when they needed to. They were the correct changes and we switched to the back five in a more defensive style of play exactly when we needed to. So he got it right today. Um, but as I said, I thought our game management was brilliant. I thought everyone in every single position of the pitch was brilliant this afternoon. Everyone did their jobs and exactly what they had to do. As I said, John Ruddy made some fantastic saves today. He certainly kept us in the game. I don't think he's being spoken about enough for his performance today, but he was very, very good. 12th clean sheet of the season now uh, for John Ruddy. Fought the back four, as I've said, um, were brilliant. Robertson and Long are certainly proving to be a good partnership. Trusty on the left. Um, for me, he's one of my favourite defenders I've seen down Blues, probably since Michael Morrison. Um, I think technically he just looks a solid, solid defender. Um, you can tell he's a, a very technical footballer, um, made some great challenges today. And Colin putting in his usual 7, 8 out of 10, as he always does. For midfield-wise, we were very good today. George Hall was excellent. He was honestly, honestly brilliant. Um, I think we've got a real asset in George Hall. He's obviously only 18, 19 years old. I know Leeds wanted him not too long ago. Um, but I think he's going to be a fantastic player for us. I think this is the best performance we've seen. Um, every time he picked up the ball, he looked a threat. He looked dangerous. He looked fast. He looked quick. He looked skillful. Um, so a fantastic performance from him. Fort Chong and Kedra uh, out wide played well too. Um, and then obviously Djukovic up front, always battling for that ball. I thought he was fantastic. Um, very rarely do I come on here and say Djukovic has had a poor game. He's clearly still got a few good, le uh, few good years left in him. Um, and a really good game from him again today. And obviously Chang and Bielik in the midfield thought they both did their jobs, both solid. Um, Hannibal's obviously not quite getting the game time at the moment just because of how well Bielik and Chang are doing. Um, but it's nice to know we've got the likes of Hannibal and Bakuna who can come on if needs be. Hogan as well up front came on for the last for the last half uh, or for the last 10 or so minutes um, and did decent as well. We're starting to press defenders, which is exactly what we want Hogan to do, particularly when coming on off the bench. 
Um, but as I said, just a brilliant performance today. I'm over the moon. It's it's nice to see Blues gaining a bit of momentum now. And hopefully for this last seven games, uh, we can really continue to push forward, um, push on and pick up a few more points. We've got Reading, obviously, on Friday, uh, followed by Stoke on Monday. So two winnable games. Stoke had a fantastic result today. They're winning 4-0 at Coventry. So that might be a little tougher than expected. Um, but hopefully we can just pick up a few more points to ensure safety before the end of the season. And um, we are nine points clear now in 16th place. Um, so as I said, hopefully, hopefully enough to survive, but it wouldn't surprise, surprise me in typical Blues fashion uh, if we cause us some problems towards the end. But fingers crossed not. Um, so thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the game this afternoon like I did. Um, please like, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Keep right on.